found some interesting video clips here online. I uh, thought this was kind of an interesting thing. This Loving versus Virginia thing when the anti-miscegenation laws, the interracial laws against interracial marriage, when it was uh, overthrown, it was 1967. You can see it right there. Um, click on it here. Uh, okay. The ACLU assigned volunteer cooperating attorneys Bernard Cohen and Philip J. Hirschkop. Both of these guys are Jesuit educated. Okay, again, I've proved that in other studies, but we're not going to get into all that right there. Bernard Cohen and Philip Hirschkop. Those are the two lawyers that overthrew the laws saying no interracial marriage here in America. Those laws that were put up by Bible believing Christians to protect our country from falling into sex perversion. Right, but I found something very interesting because, you know, you're a white racist and all this stuff. I get this put on me all the time. I want to show you the uh, testimony of a black man from right after this whole thing was passed. Ready? Here we go. People to move in the neighborhoods, but clean their own neighborhoods. And another thing, when you say integration, it comes on the end of marriage too, right? All right. been together. Right, sure. And I'm sure no intelligent white person watching this show, or no intelligent uh, white man in his or her right white mind want black boys and black girls marrying their white sons and daughters and in return introducing their grandchildren as half brown kinky head black people. I, w I, and I'm sure I wouldn't I'm, object to that. Well you wouldn't but a lot of them would. Well I'm sure a lot of people would know it's just a What I'm trying to say is this, what I'm trying to say is this, uh, you don't have it, you say you don't, but you don't have it, you really ain't gonna have it, you're on the show and you gotta say that. <laughs> he just told him, Muhammad Ali just told this white reporter, he said you're on the show, you gotta say that. Yeah, he pointed out the fact that the guy's being told what to say. He wouldn't have his job as a reporter if, uh, I think it was BBC here way back when, and he wouldn't have his job as a reporter if he was against integration. He's absolutely right. Watch the reaction of the reporter. It's funny. Well, no, 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 that's, that's, that's not true. Why would you want to do that? Because, don't because like I, don't th I don't think I'm any different from you, you see. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we're much different. That's I mean, I think society's made know, us different. You know we're different. If we're all together. Well, society's different. made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all no, of no, us. We all, listen, bluebirds fly with bluebirds. Red birds want to be with red birds. Listen, listen, tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons want to be with pigeons. But Tell we me when I'm like, well, we I, well, we must, they well, we should have, have. More, right, they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have more intelligence than them, right? <laughs> buzzers are with buzzards. Right? Buzzers are with buzzards. Bluebirds are with bluebirds. They all are birds, but they've got different cultures. The eagles like to hang out in the mountains. The buzzards like to fly around the desert. Well, the the bluebird like to fly around the trees and the grass. There'll be certain problems a, a buzzard mating with a sparrow, wouldn't there? What? The certain... Right, right. right. And that's, I mean, we have the problems too. No, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see no black and white couples in England or America walking around proud holding their children. That's because society. And, and going out. That's that's society's fault. I mean, well, so, well, but, well, I mean we've got to educate well, people around. Well, life is too short for me to be ready catching hell for something like that. And I'd rather go and be my own. I have a beautiful daughter, beautiful wife. They look like me. We're all happy, and I don't have no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> No trouble. Ain't, I ain't that much in love with no woman to go through all that hell. Ain't no one woman that good. <laughs> you understand? I understand. Yeah, I just, I do understand. I understand. I think it's, I think it's sad that. that, that it ain't sad because I want my sad. child to look it's like me. Too. Every intelligent person wants his child to look like him. I'm sad because I want to blot out my race and lose my beautiful identity. Chinese love Chinese. They love the little slanted out pretty brown skinned babies. Pakistanis love their culture. Jewish people love their culture. A lot of Catholics don't want to marry number Catholics. They want the religion to stay the same. Who want to spot up yourself and kill your race? You, you a hate of your people if you don't want to stay who you are. You shame what God made you. God didn't make no mistake when he made us all like we I, were. I think that's a philosophy um, of despair. Despair. Really do. It ain't no yeah. despair. Number this, one, can't no woman. I think, Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you. Listen, no woman on this whole earth, not even a black woman in Muslim countries, can please me and cook for me and socialize and talk to me like my American black woman. No woman, at last, is a white woman can really identify with me and my feelings and the way I act and the way I talk. And you can't take no Chinese man and give him no Puerto Rican woman and holler him about we're in love and you emotionally in love and physically, but really they're not happy because she's going to hear some Puerto Rican music, he's going to hear some Chinese music. And they're going to be clashing all the time. It's just nature. You can do what you want, but it's nature to want to be with your own. 
I want to be with my own. I love my people. That's all. I don't hate my Okay, here's it. Here's the next one. Any white woman in this audience today, any white man in this audience today, in their right mind, don't want little black boys and little black, white black girls coming around your home schools and churches looking to marry your sons and daughters and in return introducing your grandchildren as little half brown kinky head negro children. No intelligent black man in this audience, no intelligent black woman in this audience want little white boys and little white girls coming to marry their sons and daughters and in return introducing your grandchildren as little half-white, green-eyed, blonde-haired Negroes. We are not seeking to lose our identity in blood mixing and our beautiful black African history. We don't hate you. We don't hate those of you who are white. We just want to stay black. We love my color. I just love myself. How about that? You say, well, that's because Muhammad Ali was a Muslim. Say, Muhammad, he, was, he was a Muslim. Well, then type in Islam on interracial marriage. I find it interesting. The very first one here, Islam.stackexchange.com, says Moses' wife was another race, and blah, 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 like a lot of you do. Muslims use the same arguments as some of you out there as professing Christians. Um, goes into the thing. Uh, basically, I was looking down through some of these. Um, and it's basically just saying that there's nothing wrong with interracial marriage as long as they're both Muslim. Um, there's nothing in Islam that discourages interracial marriage as long as the two participants are Muslim. The Prophet himself married uh, women of other races. And he did. Muslim was a pervert. Okay, so again, just another little testimony there to those of you out there that think that uh, I'm somehow a racist and a bigot and things like that. And, and you know, I'm not. I'm not saying this is you know, Muhammad Ali, some great man now, or something like that. Not at all. He was a wicked man, but he had enough sense to realize that this law that was overthrown was wrong. He brought these videos out after, or, or he spoke. Excuse me. He spoke like a, you know spoke out publicly against this uh, whole movement after the anti-miscegenation laws were overthrown so thought that was interesting 